How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffled Rowlett, and welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Now, before we get this video started, guys, um, there's a brand new trailer, okay? There's a brand new trailer for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, and uh, this one is showcasing the Master Trainers. This is something we talked about about, like, two days ago, three days ago, maybe, because um, there was, like, this whole, like, you know, it was kind of mentioned um, in... Uh, like, it was mentioned by Masuda and whatnot, and, you know, it was that whole thing, and, uh, I actually said back when I, we, like, first got the info about the Master Trainers that I was actually really on board for them, so, in this video, we're gonna take a look at the trailer, I've already watched the trailer on my phone, um, I was taking a shower, hence why my hair is so weird, I was taking a shower, and I came out, and I was like, oh, there's a brand new trailer, literally, as I get out, I was like, oh, there's a brand new trailer, so, I checked it out, and I watched it, and I was like, dude, you know, let's talk about this, because I have a lot of things to say about this actual thing, also, uh, quick shout out to, uh, Streamlabs, for sending the hoodie over, uh, it's the their all-star program or whatever, I really appreciate the hoodie guys, thank you so much Streamlabs guys, also if you want to check out their program, if you ever want to stream, or any of that sort of stuff, and you don't know how to make layouts and Photoshop and stuff, use Streamlabs, I'll leave a link down below, if you guys want to check it out, it's like a referral link, if you want, guys want to check out like Streamlabs, it's not sponsored, it's just, if you want to check them out, they're really awesome, link going to be down below, but anyway, let's get into the actual trailer, shall we, which I have to mute, and I have to put my face cam in front of it, because, uh, you know, copyright reasons, so, first things first, um, they actually did what I said for them to do, which makes me happy, but I have a little bit of a, a discrepancy, which I'll uh, kind of get to, but um, let's see what we have here first. So let's start from the from the scratch. Uh, first thing you'll see is that the trainer is walking up to a female character who looks like one of the, uh, like a lass, like one of those characters that are called like, um, like Lass Krista or Lass Sarah or whatever, right? It's one of those characters uh, or trainer classes. And she's walking up to her. She's a Pikachu trainer, right? And she's in Viridian Forest. So these trainers will be all over the world uh, and they'll have their Pokemon above their heads. Now, will these be random or will they be set spots? Like, will you be able to find all of them in a single day? Or will it be timed? Or how does that work? I'm really curious. So... They get into it right here, and they have a bunch of them. Now, I'll move my face cam so you guys can kind of see it better. But you got them right there. See? Master Trainers. Now, Master Trainers look to have several different Pokemon. They only have seemingly one Pokemon each that they're using. So, let's continue here. So, let's go. Logo picks, uh, pops up. And here you go. You got the... Um, oh, boy. Uh, you've got the uh, trainer right there. Um, which is one of the, I am, I'm not sure if he's an ace trainer or what he is, but he's using Charizard, right? So he's a Charizard master trainer. He's mastered the arts of Charizard, right? He's the best trainer at Charizard. So each is dedicated to training one Pokemon. We now know that for a fact. It's only going to be one Pokemon. I thought it was going to maybe be a team of the same Pokemon, but no, it's just that one Pokemon. Now, I see that same trainer up here. Uh, but with a green outfit, is that related, or is it just the ones with the red? Because I think it's just the ones with the red, which is a little bit disappointing. That's what my disappointment comes from. I'm just like, hey, I would have loved it if they had, like, you know, uh, colors that kind of match their Pokemon. So if it's a trainer that has a Sancho, for example, you know, maybe he would have some yellow on him, which he kind of does, but, you know, let's say that he wasn't, like, you know, the, the hiker or whatever, and he was just, like, this guy up here, um... And only a red on him, it just, you know, doesn't fit every Pokemon, but I think it's fine. It's a way to kind of distinct them, though it's kind of odd when you see this guy up here, and then you see him again, and he's like in red. It, it's besides the point, though. It's not that important. It's it's fine. It's no big deal. I like that they did something different with them, and then just use basic trainers, uh, you know, without any changes whatsoever. This is at least a change. So, for example, the kid up there, you may maybe battle the kid, but he'll be in red, and, you know, red, red um, cap and everything. So, let's continue. You find these guys... Um, which can, they can be inside as well. Oh boy, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, challenge them, which this person's got a Venusaur, um, with no items, one Pokemon only. Oh, that is badass. The ultimate duo, okay. I like the way they put it. So, I've already been, like, for this feature since they announced it. I've, I've actually been for it. I've said, like, like, you know, this is what we want from Pokemon. We want more features. Uh, we want more challenges. This looks to be challenging. You're taking on the same Pokemon, plus no items and none of that stuff, right? You can't use uh, no potions, no heals. Um, it's going to be pretty, pretty interesting, right? It's going to be an interesting battle. Plus, these Pokemon seem to be, you know, keep in mind, this is post-game, by the way. This is after you've completed the Elite Four and all the gyms and stuff. That's what comes after. But I'm going to point out my problems at the end, and not now. Because currently, I think this looks awesome, by the way. Let's continue. The Ultimate Duel. Uh, you've got Venusaur using, is that a Fire-type move? Or what was that? I can't really, I can't really keep up with what these moves. That does not look like a move that's supposed to be on a freaking Blastoise. Um, alright, they use unexpected attacks, oh my god, do these, are they gonna be using, like, electric type moves and shit, because this is an electric type move coming out from Gyarados, and that's like Rock Blast or some shit, from 
from Pinsu. This makes no sense. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> you can defeat each one. All right, all right, all right. And claim every title. So you go up here. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Venus, uh, Venusaur Master. Venus, <laughs> Venus Master. Venusaur Master Eleni. Cool. That is... That is interesting. Huh. There's a little post thing here, which I want you guys to see, which is funny. Um, right here, you'll notice it as it comes up. And uh, I don't know if you guys know the reference. I do, but let's see who, who can, you know, recognize it before I say it. So, you got Metapod, you got another Metapod, you got that kid, and boom. So, there's, if I don't know if you guys know the reference, but Metapod used Harden and Metapod used Harden. If you don't know it yet, that's a reference from, like, episode 3 or something. I think it's 3 or 4. 3. Most likely 3. Guaranteed 3. Uh, no. 4. Four, episode four, episode four, yeah, it's episode four. Uh, episode four from the Pokemon anime season one, when Ash takes on Samurai, and Samurai is a, another trainer who lives in a forest, uh, like who just kind of not lives in a forest, but he kind of roams the, for the forest looking for train like strong trainers to battle, and he tries to find Ash and he tries to battle him, and first he uses his pincer and then he uses his Metapod, and the Ash uses his Metapod, and they keep using Harden forever. It's the it's the funniest episode. I love it. It was one of my favorite as, you know, when I grew up and watched it. Uh, I love that episode so much. So I do like the little reference here. Hey, it's fine. It's nostalgia. I get it. These games are supposed to be nostalgia. Uh, but let's continue to see what other stuff we have here in terms of news. So we head over to Cerebi, who seem to have uh, more screenshots and stuff with uh, more stuff and where, where we potentially can find these trainers and also showing us more areas, guys. This is showing us more areas of the game. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but this is actually a good way to kind of figure out how, what, what some places look like. Like, for example, if we look at, um, you know, like uh, right here, this is the Diglett cave, right? The, the cave that leads down into Diglett. Uh, and uh, I think this is like Route 13. I can't, I literally can't remember this route. Uh, the name, like, which number it is, but, um, I know this is the Diglett Cave up here, so we know that for a fact now, and how that looks like, I think we've seen it before, uh, this is the route right next to, uh, the route that leads into Pewter City, and the one right next to Viridian, for like, you know, Viridian Forest, so to say, um, that's this one, because, uh, I think this is where you exit, I could be, wait, I could be wrong, is it, or is it not, no, I think it is, because I think you get out of the, the hole, you get, I think you get out of the hole, out of the Diglett Cave, and then you can find a house down there, Either way, let's continue. Um, I think we do see some more areas, which we most likely haven't seen. Also, this is in Lavender Town. So we know that the Lapras trainer is going to be in Lavender Town. Um, you can kind of confirm based on these images, which is pretty cool. But yeah, so uh, that's those. Now let's head over to the website and see some pre-release pre, -screen, pre -release screenshots, which uh, Cerebi always seems to have their hands on, which I don't know how they get these things. But hey, shout out to uh, Cerebi real quick. <coughs> Oh, sorry about my cough. I'm still a bit sick. So I do apologize about me coughing and being disturbing that way or disturbing you that way. I do apologize. But there we go. So pre-release screenshots. We've got uh, one in uh, Pallet Town again with some random kid uh, that says the master trainers have each focused on training one species of Pokemon. Cool. And here is the master trainer for uh, for Caterpie. Now, this is the route on the left side. Okay. This is the route on the left side I'm pointing to the okay, to the left side, okay, uh, to the left side of um, of Fusion City, right? Because you have uh, one, two, and a third one down here, right? Like down at the bottom, you have three bird keepers uh, that you can battle. I remember that, and they look really cool, actually. I like these bird keeper outfits. Um, but yeah, you can also see like you know they've got the extra glove, you know, to hold their you know you know pharaohs, Pidgey, whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You've got the Pikachu Master, which is, you know, in the forest. Viridian, uh, Viridian Forest is kind of a reference to the fact that Pikachu was catchable in Gen 1 in the Viridian Forest. Uh, this is just a normal image. This does not look like, you know, one of those trainers. Uh, but here is one of the trainers. I guess it's a comparison. This one's got, like, red red on him. Um, and here's a battle with Charizard. And, again, the guy with the Charizard Master title. And where you can find him. And also a trainer... Oh, this is cool. Okay. This is... Um, a Cinnabar Mansion, right? It's a Cinnabar Mansion. It'd be wonderful to see a truly powerful Ditto even just once. Why does he have a Ditto right there? I like what they did here. I, I see what Masuda's doing, man. I see what he's doing. God damn it, dude. You and your you and your Gen 1 love. You and your Gen 1 love. Um, it would be wonderful to see you. Okay, so yeah, D Ditto is uh, is catchable in uh, Cinnabar Mansion, right? It's the place where, you know, you find the most amount of them. Uh, so, of course, the guy who, you know, has... Um, 
has the Ditto Master title is, of course, in Cinnabar Mansion. Indeed. Very nice. How very cute. Also, my hair is so weird. I'm so sorry. This is so weird. It's just like going from one way to another. I apologize. Either way, I won't be touching my hair anymore. Either way, um, I think that is most of it. I think we've gone through all the um, the main info here. I don't think we missed anything. Oh, wait. Did I miss something? Oh, no. This is actually... Wait. Charizard Master Chase sent out Charizard. Okay. So, yeah. I like the Charizard. I like the Master title, right? That's pretty cool. So, to take on the Masters, you need to have all Pokemon, essentially. So... That's going to be interesting because you will actually need every Pokemon to take on the Masters. Huh. That's going to be, that's going to, that's going to be a challenge. That's going to be a challenge. I won't deny that. So I do like that. I, 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 okay. I don't like praising Let's Go because I feel like Let's Go is doing a lot of things wrong. But guess what? I'm giving Let's Go a praise here. I was already saying that this is a feature that I'm happy with. Now, what is my problem? Well, I just hope that this isn't their, their like equivalence to oh we've done we've done we've done it now here's your post game this is it right if this is all it is then i'm just a bit like i'm a little bit little bit disappointed but i think this is what we're getting i don't think we're gonna get much more and this plays into the whole concept of let's go being kind of a you know um a, a over casualized game meant for brand new people to be introduced into the franchise uh you know people that haven't played previous pokemon games and as a way to kind of bridge the gap between uh, main series and pokemon go and i think this like i've said this before right this is masuda's magnum opus this is this was what masuda wanted to always do he he's always wanted to do like a game or for a long time now for at least like the last four or five years uh since we rolled into gen 6 masuda's wanted to make a pokemon game that's more in style of a mobile game right he's wanted that for a long time and guess what Pokemon Go's popularity gave him the chance to do that now. He had an excuse to, able to be able to make this game. Now, I would really personally say that I don't want these games to, you know, kind of continue personally. I'd just be fine if this was a one-time thing and we kind of, you know, continued, you know, onto future things because I want to see new stuff rather than just kind of like uh, perpetually giving us nostalgia, right? You know, if you make a remake once, I'm fine with it, but after you've done it like twice, it gets a little bit, you know... It, it, you know, at one point, it can be like, you know, okay, we've already seen a remake of this thing. Why are we getting another one? You know, can we just continue and make new stuff? And that's where I think, like, for me, like, I want to see that we continue. Because I think Let's Go has a lot of good features. I like Pokemon being in the overworld. I, I like the co-op feature. I like the, the catch mechanic. But also, just add wild battles on top of that. Combining those two together, you've got a perfect mix mash or like mismatch into a perfect kind of game. So personally, I'd say I'm on board for this. I'm okay for this as long as it doesn't, again, as long as this doesn't affect future games, I'm okay with it. And if this is Masuda's magnum opus, let it be his magnum opus, the thing he always wanted to make, and let us move on to, you know, greater strides in the future. So at the end of the day, guys, if you want to buy Let's Go, buy it. If you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. Just don't touch it. If you don't feel uh, certain yet, if you're not sh sure... Don't buy it yet. Wait until there are reviews. Wait until you know more about the game and then decide. Don't just like randomly throw your money on it or, you know, just, you know, disregard it 100%. If you're like right in the middle, you know, just because somebody tells you something. I would say do the logical thing and wait. That's just the better thing to do. You know, why just in impulsively spend your money randomly just like this, um, you know, on something that you may not even play or care about or enjoy uh, instead of just, you know, taking some time and waiting until the game is out and just checking reviews because that's the best way to know. So yeah, for anybody who's not going to be buying the game, I'm going to be Let's Playing it on the channel on a live stream and also in video form so you'll have content for it. I'll be breaking down most parts of the game, trying to kind of have a, a, a grand scope of the game before I give my like, you know... Uh, 5 out of 10, or 8 out of 10, or 3 out of 10, and 7 out of 10, or 8 out of 10, whatever it may be, uh, you know, until I give my score, I want to play the full game and have my full general view of the game, so, yeah. That's just about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like down below. Also, sorry about my bed. Um, like I said, I'm sick, so I have not had the energy to do most shit. I do apologize about that. It looks like a mess. I know. Uh, it's because my baby brothers, uh, like, baby brother and siblings and whatnot, they come in here, uh, so, you know, they always, like, mess around with shit, and... They, they messed up my bed. I apologize about that. But yeah, so I haven't had the time to fix that right now for this video. Either way, thank you so much for watching. My name is Rolf Rowlett. Have a great day, and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.